Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, I want to review a API shortcut that I just discovered recently. I thought it was pretty neat, so I wanted to share it. I'm hitting a couple of roadblocks right now. Um, I'm still working on Flutter, but at the same time, I haven't been able to work on it lately for a number of reasons, but one of them, I'm trying to make the Dart SDK into a snap package. Um, one of the problems using GNU Linux distribution like Ubuntu is what I'm using. It's installing it, and it's not hard to install, but it's tedious, and it's a lot easier to install it probably on Windows than, than on, on GNU Linux, um, but this is what I use. And so what I'm going to try to do is make a snap package out of it so anybody could just download it and install it very simply and have it set everything up and you're good to go all right i'm still working on that i'm hitting some roadblocks of course it's documentation right i'm hitting the documentation and i can't really figure out how to do this so i'm asking around hopefully i'll get it done within the week if so then we can keep moving on with flutter okay but i think it's really important if we're going to go through dart number one to help out all beginners, we have to be able to install it, right? Flutter I haven't gone through in the past just because I couldn't install it. Then somebody once told me, install Android Studio first and then install IntelliJ and then it'll work. I would have never thought about that, okay? So that's what I'm working on on the side. But in the meantime, this API shortcut is kind of interesting. You hit the control button and left click it, okay? So left click, um, sometimes this comes up in front. So left click, you have to move this to the side and then it will go under, you see that, notice that? Uh, right there, it'll turn into a highlighted underline, but it's being covered up, probably just a bug in the program. And then you click on it, I think with the Mac it's gonna be a command key, um, but for, I think Windows is the same thing for IntelliJ. Control button, then left click. And what this does is it takes you actually to that file where the widget is created. So right here, Flutter packages. So it goes all the way to the Flutter libraries, gets you to app.dart, and this is where the material app is. And you could just to see, you just get to see all of these properties, but of course you could always just go here, control space for autocomplete, and see all the properties there. But at the same time, if you go at this site, Sometimes there's additional documentation that you can actually read. I haven't found this to be super helpful. Well, I haven't found it to be helpful at all, but but in the future, it might be helpful. Some of this stuff is very out there, all right? So let me take a look here. For example, we're going to look at the center widget. We click on it, and it talks about the widget. It's a little bit better documented, but that defers the layout of its single child to a delegate. It's not very clear, um, and then it doesn't talk about the properties. Some of the APIs do, but this is all um, APIs that are, instead of going to the official Dart or Flutter API page, you could just click it right here and read it, and I think this is going to be the same thing as on those pages, so it'll just be an extra shortcut rather than going on the website, all right? So, and again, let's go through here, like click on text. And it, here are the properties again, and some of the properties are, are stated a little bit more. Again, I haven't found this to be super helpful because it's a little bit text style style, how the text should be aligned horizontally. That's not that helpful, right? So, so how do you use it? What's the example? What's the syntax? Don't tell you any of that. But in some of these, it might tell you, so it might be helpful, all right? But I thought it was neat. Maybe I'm unlikely to use it a lot, but I, I thought it was just a neat tip um, because I learned that and I think in the future I'll, I'll probably click on it for here and there just to see what it says and sometimes it might be helpful okay so let me finish up on the snap I'm also working on getting this some of this sample code onto github I haven't used that in a couple of years maybe even longer than that so I have to relearn how to use it I totally forgot so I have to relearn all of that because I want to be able to share some of the code because that, that was a request um, working on it. I don't think it's going to take too long, but I even I don't even remember any of the commands. So I got to get on that, got to get on the snap package and then let's move on, okay? Thanks.